Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about RPGs! I, I, I'm super excited. First of all, want to show a background. Gotta love it. Super excited because uh, for tonight's episode, we have Dave Bernazani of RPG Geek. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing great, Dr. Tom. Thanks for having me. Now, I understand that you have a very important position as the head bottle washer for a website. How many bottles are there at this website? Um, it's Chief Bottle Washer, if we're going to get the title correct. And um, I, I'm actually not sure. I'm not done washing them all yet. I, you're definitely pacing yourself like an hourly employee, I see. <laughs> yeah, the pay's great. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So I, now this RPG Geek, this is a website, right? Uh, what, what, what do you have on there? I understand it's connected with like a more important website called Board Game. Uh, yeah. That's more important. Um, so Board Game Geek's been around a long time, and RPG Geek is kind of a sister site, spin-off site. Um, but we like to think we're kind of the quieter, more interesting corner of geekdom. And it's all RPGs all the time. That's really great. Now, so basically, uh, Board Game Geek is like the American football. And you guys are kind of like, I don't know, the NBA or, or, or baseball. You're, you're still there. But you've always got video game geek to pick on. They're like hockey, right? Yes, it's like Highlight, I guess. Oh, man, like Highlight. Oh, man, I can't wait. I think Yona will be very excited to hear <laughs> the video game geek is her Highlight. Yeah, she, 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 she'll give me an earful in the morning, I'm sure. Awesome. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a question now. You've got a thing coming up. This will be the third year round for a special, uh, a special event. And I don't mean like a after-school program special message thing. This is, so what was this Vir Virtuacon? It's a Virtuacon, right? It's a clever name. So it's a virtual convention. It's run completely online, and uh, we're packing it like a real convention. So there's there's contests and there's giveaways and prizes and speaking panels and of course lots of tons of RPG games. Oh man! So actual games you can get in. That's that's great. How much does it cost? Is it like forty bucks? Uh, the cost is zero dollars, as it has been for the last three years. You just need a computer that's, you know, got a video camera. Anything, pretty much anything, will do. Um, we run all of the games using Hangouts, and uh, it doesn't require much. We've had people play on, you know, iPads or iPhones, but uh, you know, better if you have a laptop or a computer with a camera on it. Oh yeah, well, that that makes sense. I, so I, I understand that you guys have like a little tavern that you ran last year, where the whole way through there were people just hanging out. Is that, is that still going on this year? Absolutely, yep. So the um, the Silver Unicorn, which uh, was was the sort of name that we gave it the first year, it's kind of stuck. Um, we have this hangout that runs essentially for the three days of Virtual Con, which uh, will be October twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. So just like a real convention, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and the tavern is open the entire three days. We usually open it a couple hours before the convention starts, and, and it's open a couple hours after. Hangouts last year, I think, had a 10-person limit. So when the tavern filled, we had a back room. The back room could, could hold another 10 people. Um, but uh, they we're hoping that the Hangouts technology gets to the point where we can squeeze more people in because it's more fun when everybody's in the tavern together. Yeah, yeah, ten person tavern. It's like it's more like somebody's living room. Yeah, exactly. I, I, so, so I, 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 this is this is a con. I'm trying to do a con experience. How is it that people are going to get con crud, Dave? Uh, that's the best part, right? So con crud is completely digital, and uh, you can just delete it. Oh, you could just you just clear your cookies or something. You can clear your cookies. Absolutely. I, I happen to like cookies, but okay, I'll I'll make that happen. All right. So now, right now, this is this comes out. It'll be uh, near the end of September. You've got to drive to try to look for uh, GMs, right? Now, is is that right? Um, right. So we're trying to sort of lock down the the games that are going to be run. We're asking people to sort of commit to running running a game. You don't have to have it all fleshed out, but you need sort of a sort of a pitch. Um, number of players that you're willing to take, whether whether you can handle, you know, um, 
a new experience or somebody has to know how to play the game already. Most, most games are, are, you know, new players are fine. Uh, whether pre-gens will be available, that sort of thing. Very basic information. But um, if you have a game or two that you want to run, uh, we're asking for sign-ups through the end of September. So, you know, October 1st or 2nd, we're going to start putting the schedule together. It takes us about a week to put the schedule together. So if you were a little bit late in getting your game pitch in, we probably wouldn't turn you away. Um, and there's always open gaming. You can always run a game during the convention, but it's nicer to have it on the schedule. Um, you get get the, 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 the event hooked into our Google page. We have a virtual con page for Google+, Plus, the G+, Plus, and, and if the game is listed and it gets promoted, it's more likely to fill. So. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that makes sense. So uh, um, now let's say that someone's interested in possibly GMing, but, I mean, it's, it's Hangouts, so I could just run a game whenever I want, Dave. Why would I bother doing this effort for your virtual con? Is there anything in it for me? Um, a couple things. One, we are um, offering prizes to all of the GMs, right? So we solicit, in it because it's a virtual convention, all of the prizes are virtual. So it's gift certificates to drive through RPG and, and there's just hundreds and hundreds of, of PDFs, good quality PDFs that are being donated to the event. So we make sure the GMs get that kind of stuff. Uh, the, the other real reason to run it is, yes, you can run it any time, but we are really trying to push to make this more like um, a real convention. We call it the, the best three days in virtual gaming. And yes, we stole a few of those words. So. We want to make, make it seem like, I mean, I'm taking Friday off work, and I will be there all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, it's in your house. Yes, it's easy to just jump in and out, but it's, it's also a nice experience to come together with your friends for the entire weekend in the tavern, contests online, um, in the different games. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of uh, puzzles and things going on during, during the week. So even though the, con the, the convention runs for three days, we're going to have a lot of... Um, sort of activities that are the entire week of virtual con. So it, it really just kind of kind of puts it all into that perspective of three awesome days together with your friends as opposed to a, you know a Thursday night hangout game with a few of your friends. So we think it's a bigger better and it's it's something that we're hoping that more people will, will come to every year. We've grown a little bit from year one to year two and we'll see how the third year goes. Oh, cool. Okay, that's a pretty good pitch. You know, swag plus possible future community stuff. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, VirtuaCon, we'll have a link in the show notes. It's very important. So now, enough talk about that. Uh, the, the online best three days of some kind of thing. we got a serious question to talk about here, Dave. Are you ready for a serious question? I am ready for a serious question. All right, you, you look serious, but that's kind of your default state. All right, here we go. Would you rather play your favorite game every day or never play it again? That's a tough question. You know, <clears throat> let me tell you a little story. I spent 12 years eating the same breakfast every day. And one day I changed. And the next day I went back. And I'm on another 12-year streak. I'm going to say... I'm going to play that game every day. Wow. Okay, what game would it be? I got to know, Dave. Uh, so, boy, it's going to be a difficult choice. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Mahjong. Japanese Ricci style. Oh, I Ricci Agarwal has a style? I did not know that. <laughs> he does. Wow. That's great. I Mahjong. That's cool. I, I understand that like triad gangsters play that game. That's the only time I've ever seen it. Uh, yep, yep. In the circles that I run in, it's almost all gangsters. That's that's amazing. You'll have to show off your ink at the uh, after you win the trivia contest. Wait, I get, what are you doing there? That's a big pen. That's my ink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good okay well dave I, I really appreciate you coming on the show it was super great having you all right dr tom i, I enjoy being here and uh, if anybody needs to get in touch with me they can do through uh so through the website it's right down here it's uh www.rpggeek.com slash vc15 that's our wiki for all things virtual fantastic 
All right. Well, have a great night, and I'll see you at VirtuaCon. All right. Thanks, Dr. Tom. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.